All right, my friends, we are done with our adventure. Sad but true. But I hope you guys have enjoyed The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. And I hope you will read the other books in the Narnia series. Okay, if I would say what is the number one series that every kid should read, it's the Narnia series. So I bought these big books. They come in every size, every shape you could find. I have one book at home that's about this big and it's got all of them in one book. It's pretty, but it's hard to read out of. So I love these because they're nice and big. The next book you guys would read is The Magician's Nephew. Sometimes they go like this, sometimes they go like this. It doesn't matter. You've already read this one. Get this one next. You're going to hear about that professor that we talked about in The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. You're going to learn more about him in this one. Super cool book. And then this is how you see the books most often. So in a little set like this. So if you see those um, in a store, in a library, uh, you guys could get these on the library now. There's also really great books on CD that you can get from the library. So, um, or you could order them. It's you know, I use a library a ton, but this is a set that's worth getting, moms and dads, if you have a chance. But, you know, just go through them. Um, Magician Stuff, You Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, A Horse and His Boy. That is a great book, and so many kids miss that one. So don't miss that one. It's really cool, really different than some of the other stories. Prince Caspian, some of you guys may have seen the movie, but that's an awesome one, too. The Voyage of the Dawn Treader. You get to meet some really new, different characters in that one. So I think you'll love that one. And then The Silver Chair. Guess who's reading The Silver Chair right now? Pastor Jim and Kim. They are reading it. And there's a character in The Silver Chair called Puddleglum. And he's just kind of this long, lanky kind of guy. And if I could find a picture, I'm going to post it for you. But when Isaiah was about your age, when he was probably 10 or 11, um, we kind of always make our costumes for Halloween. We never buy a costume because we, we just put stuff together. And Isabella got a hold of him and they came downstairs and he was totally decked out in his puddle glum outfit and so I thought it was one of the more creative uh, costumes but puddle glum's a really fun character so um, you might have heard Pastor Jim even mention him this week so silver chair and then finally the last battle moms and dads awesome way to teach your kids and the last battle is really worth reading so guys these are a treasure these are my favorite children's books ever. So I hope you guys will read them. Um, like I said yesterday, my whole family has been reading them this year and good to find out Pastor Jim and Kim are also reading them. So get a hold of these. Make this your afternoon reading, after your school at home, um, or bedtime reading, whatever it is. But I hope you'll read them. If you have any questions about them or if you want to know more, just give me a call. I would love to talk to you about them. But um, it's Chronicles of Narnia, A1.